Hey, this is Kenneth. Today I'm going to do a hardware review on Greenlee, pr previously known as Paladin Tools, 4908 Datacom Pro Starter Toolkit. Um, I got a Paladin Tools Ethernet RJ crimper a long, long time ago, um, and I recently found their starter kit, which was um, the crimper, stripper, Tele uh, lineman scissors and punch down tool all in one nice little bag like this and so via some trading with friends and stuff I got the pieces I was missing from it since it was kind of silly for me to purchase the complete kit when I already had about half of it but so I'm going to do a review on the full kit here um, this retails on Amazon for about a hundred hundred and ten dollars I think list price is about a hundred and fifty um, and I've been using this kit um, this week and I love 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 it I really I really Paladin Tools is one of those things that um, is one of those brands just like Fluke that really um, is is an easy name to go by. The bag itself is your kind of standard canvas zippered. It's got a, a loop on this. Um, I know people haven't been particularly impressed with this this bag before, um, but I really kind of like it because I take I have a bunch of these size of bags that I have these sets of tools in and I throw them all in one toolbox and so then when I want all of my ethernet stuff it all comes out in one nice package like this. So let's look at what it comes comes with and uh, the brandy on this is a little bit backwards um, because I bought these in two parts. All right, so you'll notice that this and this, the, the crimper and the stripper are branded Paladin tools but then the punch down tool is branded Greenlee. His Greenlee recently acquired Paladin. And so um, these I had before. I got my buddy to buy the complete kit and I bought the bag, the lineman scissors and the punch down tool off of him. Um, so let's start walking down, walking down this. So first you've got your RJ crimping tool. So what this has is it's got a spot for 8P8C. 6P, 6C, and 4P, 4C. So you can do like ethernet cables, telephone cables, and then typically for 4P, that's your telephone handset is the, the cable that goes between the handset and the, the base of your telephone is 4P, 4C. It's got a stripper right here. And so you put ethernet, uh, cat five cable in this and spin it. And it has a blade that supposedly um, serrates the um, sheath on it. I'm not a big fan of this one. Um, I haven't had much success with it. Um, it also has a just a cleaver on this side and so once you get all your cable all the single uh, halves of pairs uh, combed out you can put it in there and cleave it like that um, and it'll cut it nice and flush. I really like that and then on this side it actually has um, silver satin strippers so those flat cables you can put them in there grab it and pull it out and it's stripped. Um, nice rat ratcheting action. Um, this has been my bread and butter. I've been using this one for, gosh, three years now, something like that. Because I've, I've really been beating the tar out of this thing, and I really like it. So that's your crimper. Um, and what I got with it originally, and what also comes in the kit, is the stripper. Right? And so this does only st stripping, satin, uh, flat cable, um, e uh, category 5, and it's got a cleaver on it. I don't like the cleaver on the stripper so much as I do the cleaver on this. So I tend not to use this, this cleaver almost at all, but the stripper on this is actually much nicer. And so for example, given some scrap Cat 5E cable, you just run it into the stripper there, spin it a couple times, and it's scored. Oh, I didn't spin it quite enough, did I? Ah! Okay, now that I've stopped fumbling my equipment, so you take your Category 5E cable, feed it through the stripper here then you just run it around a few times like that and uh, what it does is it scores it and then you can crack it and take it off and it does a really good job of only cutting through the outer coat and so on the actual pairs right here I haven't nicked any of the four pairs so I can sit here comb out the four pairs of, ethan of ca cable here put it in a connector and terminate it without having to use the rip cord to pull back more vinyl. Right, so that's a stripper. I kind of like it. Um, these two by themselves is what I use when I'm just going out 
Um, as I've used those for you know years now, and I really really like them. But what the kit adds is the lineman scissors and the punch down tool. Um, the lineman scissors is one of those is something that almost no one has, and everyone kind of thinks it's a little silly because it's like it's just a pair of scissors, right? I mean, what's so special about a pair of scissors? Um, these are really really nice wire cutting scissors, right? And so first of all, you'll notice the very unusual handle on them. And so what's that? what that's meant for is you don't actually um, two-finger it like you do normal scissors. Is what you do is you palm, you palm one of the sides of the lineman scissors and you put your uh, middle finger in the second one. So that way you're not actually doing squeezing motions, but you're just doing much more of a full hand grasping motion, um, which really helps you on fatigue. So you can sit there all day and be cutting stuff and it, it doesn't tire out your hand so much as a normal pair of scissors or a pair of wire cutters would. Um, and it's really, really slick. Looking at, looking at the blade itself, um, one side is incredibly sharp, but just smooth. And then the second side is actually serrated. Let's see if we can camera focus. Um, is it serrated on this side? And that's really nice because when you've got a whole bunch of cables lined up, and then you come in and cut them, with, since it's serrated here, it tends to not bunch up cables, but it'll cut each, so if we uh, sit here and splay them out like this, if you were to try and cut this with a normal pair of scissors, it would bunch them all up to the end until it cuts it, but with this, it just cuts each one right where it is and it doesn't slide at all, right? And so, and, and it, it goes through these cables like butter, right? And so, really, really nice. Then up on here on the top, it has a little wire cutter, so if you're going into binding posts, um, instead of punch downs, so we can sit here and untwist one of the pairs, and you can just run it through the stripper, and you've got really nice stripped copper like that, right? And so that's that's how you would um, for flushing up the cable. You can also with this serrated part it makes it really nice at stripping cables. Like when you're going into a punch down block, you can sit here and just kind of eat at the shielding a little bit and then boy it is not cooperating tonight for me and so you can cut off the sheathing like that of course you have nicked the pairs here so what, you, what you're going to want to do is take the rip cord pull it back a little bit and cut off the rip cord and the vinyl and all of that spare cable like that and there you've got your stripped cable um, to go into whatever you want to use which would include punch uh, keystone jack so like here's a your typical keystone jack right so you've got it's got your a a and b color codes on it you know because they have to be complete and i guess someone out there in the world actually uses the a 568A color code, but we only use B um, for anything reasonable. Um, and so the punch down tool, this is a really nice punch down tool. Because I've I got one of the $15 eBay special ones before and almost immediately regretted it. Um, the other one did have a little flip out wire pick on it, um, but the feel of it was really terrible and it, it felt cheap and terrible. Um, this one's got a really nice rubber gripping on it, the high low select on it. Um, is much much more solid than what I had before and it comes with the standard interchange uh, 110 non-cutting right so this is a non-cutting blade and then it also has a cutting blade so this one uh, on the right side here has a little cleaver so that when you punch punch down cable into the keystone jack it cuts it off flush um, a big di another big difference between this one and uh, the eBay specials I've used, this one has a little trap door on the back where a lot of the other ones will just have a little chinky magnet in there that you drop the blade and it's supposed to sit there and then it always eventually drops out and rattles around in your toolbox. Um, ironically though, nicer blade holder than, than my previous punch down tool, but it only comes with the 110 blade. Um, but I have gotten... Um, from other sources on eBay, I got a 66 blade. Really? You're gonna... 
And so you can see here I've got a 66 cutting and non-cutting tool and so I can interchange those and it's a standard twist lock on that and so any almost any of these blades will work in any of these punch down tools um, but so having stripped our cable here we can unravel it so I will untwist all these pairs for you <laughs> and so looking at the keystone it's got the color code green brown orange blue and so we take our brown pair and we lay it down there take our green pair Lay it down there. Orange pair. And our blue pair. So lay them out like that, and then come in with your punch down tool. So I've got the 110 cutting blade on this. And this blade is so sharp, I don't even engage the punching action on this most of the time. Um, it is just that, it is a really, really nice punch down blade. So, right, so you actually, half the time I don't engage the full punch, although I guess I really probably should, just to really make sure that I get it seated as well as cleaved. So, one, two, three, four, and we've got that keystone terminated, right? So it's, it always, it always hurts when you, when you spend a lot of money on tools, but it's one of those things that I, I, I've been using this Paladin, the register jack crimping tool for gosh, two or three years now. And I expect I'm going to be using a lot of all of it, the rest of this for a long, long time. Um, and so I really like it. There'll be a link in the description for this, as well as a few of their other kit options if you want to go bigger or smaller than this. But I highly recommend this. And if you're getting started in telecom, um, primarily with Ethernet, since they only give you a 110 blade on this, I really, really like it. And I'm a big fan. So thanks for watching.